losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack What's up y'all? How y'all doing out there? It is me, your girl Tiffany and I'm back at it you guys. I'm back at it with some more content. I haven't went nowhere. I, I didn't disappear. I didn't fall off the face of the earth. All to my 36 subscribers and the several people who watch me, your girl is still here. Just took a little break. I know I'm not this big YouTuber where it's like, girl, why are you taking a break? But I'm human. I'm a woman. I'm a mother. I'm a girlfriend. So I just had to take a mental break. Just really just figure out if I wanted to either finish this YouTube, if I wanted to do other things. Just so much was going on. But one thing your girl have did, you guys. So I'm so happy I did this. Um, so many years later in my life, I did finally seek a therapist. Um, and that's honestly has been the best thing that has happened to me these four weeks that I have been seeing her once once a week. So this video right here, y'all, is just seven reasons why I decided to seek a therapist. And maybe these seven reasons could click in somebody's head and it could be like, all right, maybe I need to seek therapy. Cause I know in my culture, you know, I can't talk for other people's cultures, but I know in the African American culture, we don't seek therapy. We don't seek help. Um, we are told to pray, which is good. Don't get me wrong. I pray. I pray every day. I thank God every day. But it's so much that prayer could do. It's so much that prayer could do. So if 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 the pray if the praying is not helping, continue to pray. But if you seeing that your depression and your anxiety is getting a little bit worse, or it's not improving, seek some help. Seek some help, and I'm pretty sure it's programs and organizations out there and it's in everybody's city where it's free like it's stuff out there that is that you can see and get help so i finally did that so this right here this video you guys i'm not gonna keep going on this video right here is just seven reasons why your girl decided to seek help profession all right so stick to the video go ahead like comment subscribe tap in with your girl and i hope you won't disappoint be disappointed I'm just throwing this out there and I hope someone grab it, gravitate to it, you feel me? Alright. Alright you guys, so the first thing that I have on my list of just seven reasons why I decided to seek professional help. I mean my boyfriend and praying and my kids, all that is good to vent to. But sometimes it's just easier to talk to somebody who don't know your life. And even though she really, you know, I do most of the talking, but it has helped me realize a lot of things, a lot of things that I've been suffering from. And in order for me to be that woman that I know God created me to be, I knew and to go to that next level, I knew the next thing I had to do was seek some help. So that's what I did. So the first thing on my list of why I seeked help was just break generational curses, man. Break generational curses. Um, not gonna go into why why I want to break generate curses that is another video for itself um I think I already got that a uh, video on here about that but just to break generational curses um my oldest is 23 he'll be 24 in October my daughter just made 18 and I have a 13 year old son so when they were younger it was a lot of stuff that I did that I see that they suck up like a sponge you know like SpongeBob square pairs literally that's why you don't do anything in front of your kids and think that they don't see it even though I hid a lot of stuff, you know, I did it in my room, but they seen it and they remember, they remember. So I'm not a grandmother, um, like neither, none of the three that I birthed have children, but I do have a bonus son who has a daughter. So, and he stays here with me. So, you know, and he kind of grew up seeing, even though he came into my life when he was 16, he kind of seen the anger and the hurt that I had and you know it manifested it manifested onto my kids and I want him to be different with his daughter and when my son have his kids I want him to be different with his children and my daughter even though she um she might won't have kids um but even if her and her girlfriend when they get older decide to adopt a kid or have a kid I don't want the same generational curses that I inflicted on them for them to inflict on their children 
So that's the reason why I'm seeking help. And then maybe they could go seek help because we all need to seek help, especially if we're trying to do anything with entre entrepreneurship, anything with content creating. Seek some help. Seek some help just for the long run. All right. So that's the first thing. Just break them generational curses, baby. Break them. All right, you guys, so the second thing on this list of just seven things, seven reasons why I decided to seek professional help and seek a therapist. Now, a therapist and a, a, psycho, a, a, therapist and a psychologist is two different things. A therapist can't like prescribe you any kind of medication. Well, I would never take, I don't care what kind of depression, anxiety, I would never take any kind of medication. Um, so I'm seeking a therapy. It's a difference between those two and I'll do some more research about that and make a video about it. Alright? Because whatever I do, I do try to do some research, try to have some receipts so I can back myself up on whatever I say. If it's not my life experience, like I said before, it's somebody else's. So the second thing that's on my list of why I decided to seek help, you guys, is to become the woman that I was created to be. To become the woman that I was created to be. Now for these 39 years that I've been on this earth, um, what I was going through and how I sheltered myself and how I put this metal wall in between me and other people and how I uh, stopped trusting people at a certain time, a certain point in my life. I just stopped trusting people. You know, just stop trusting them. Stop trusting their intentions. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't even give you a chance to even do me wrong. You know, so I'm not going to go into that, but yeah. Um, so I really thought that was a good thing. I really thought me sitting in the house by myself with no friends, just, you know, no relationships, being, you know, just pushing people away, sabotaging relationships. I really thought that was a good thing, and it wasn't. It's not. It wasn't girl pushing 40 now that I'm seeing that was not it wasn't it you know I was working off a lot of anger a lot of hurt which I'm getting through so the second reason why your girl decided to seek some help is because the woman that I was created to be is not the woman that I am right now do you get what I'm saying every day I'm is, is baby steps baby steps I'm doing something different to be better than I was yesterday because me and life you're not in competition with nobody but yourself i am in competition with the person i was yesterday it's not a female a male a child a, a, a no one that i'm in competition with ever if it was meant for me it'll be meant for me if it wasn't meant for me and somebody else got it, it wasn't meant for me so i'm not gonna be in nobody else's race and try i'm in competition with myself so i'm trying to be better than i was the yesterday and the day before yesterday and I'm gonna be better tomorrow than I was today that's it that's all so that's the second reason why your girl decided to seek professional help because the woman that I know I was destined to be that I was created to be I'm not there yet I'm not there yet and in order to get there I had to identify the emotions and all this stuff that I was working with y'all so that's why all right that's the second reason all right we're almost at number three stick with me okay all right y'all so the third thing that is on this list of just seven reasons why i decided to seek professional help on some real stuff i've been seeing it for the last four weeks and i'm telling you it's the best thing that has happened to your girl that it, i mean it just opened my i mean was all, i was already praying and meditating and working out this body you know controlling the three things that i can't control my mind my body and my soul so you know, yeah, I'm getting better with time, just like with wine. You feel what I'm saying? But anyways, the reason, the third thing that's on this list of why I decided to seek professional help is I just wanted to identify the emotions, the right emotions to the situations that I was going through. The society, people, culture, us, family, we put different emotions on situations that don't go there. Like the angry black woman. I, I despise that. Or you're bitter. Or you know what I'm saying? Or you're just angry. You're just upset. Sometimes, baby. Sometimes, let me tell you. And this is just what I have learned over these 30 days, these four weeks of going through what I have been going through. Sometimes the emotions we're going through is not for that situation. Like, I, mean, I was saying that I was angry. I was like, I'm this angry person. But then when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, I'm not angry. 
I'm not an angry person. I'm a very happy person. I'm very joyful. But what I was, I was hurt. And I didn't know how to deal with them hurts. I didn't know how to let go. Like, I would say I'll let go and I forgive, but I didn't. Because if you forgive somebody, you wouldn't keep bringing it up. So I was forgiving little situations, but it was still in the back of my head. So I was identifying different emotions with different situations, and it was making, it was bringing me, like, I, I was starting to feel angry. Like, I'm not angry, but people would be like, oh, you negative, are you angry? And I was starting to, no, baby. No, if anything, I was hurt. I didn't know how to identify that, or I was disappointed. Maybe I was confused. But I could show you angry, and what I was was not. I wake up every day, because I know every day is a gift from God. I, I have realized that I have woke up a little confused, maybe a little angry at some times, um, hurt most of the times, but I'm not an angry person. And I think on my video, I think I, when I was uh, exposing myself, I think I used that word, but that was before I seen my therapist. I think that was either before I seen my therapist or I had seen her one time. But I didn't, I wasn't on these emotions. But pretty much it's just identify what emotions you're going through. Like somebody could call you angry and you'll start thinking you angry. Like I'm not angry. No, you did something to disrespect me. You hurt me. Now you think I'm all right with it? Now just because you don't know my emotion, you gonna put a title on it and call me angry? No, baby, that's not how we gonna do this. Identify with your own emotions before somebody else try to. All right, so that's the third reason why your girl went to go see other. All right, so we're almost on that number four thing. Stick with your girl. I got to take my daughter to work. I got about 10 more minutes to do this video. All right, so stick with me. We getting through it, y'all. We getting through it. <laughs> and y'all know when I come outside, y'all, I don't know if y'all know this, but when I come outside, that's me. It's pretty late in the day. The pretty late in the day the sun in my house that natural sun is gone i don't feel like putting up no diva light i don't feel like finding the real the right angle i'm like let's go outside hope the birds the chickens and the dogs and the goats and all that stuff don't start talking and just do my video so when you see me outside that's the reason i'm outside it's pretty late in the day and i'm trying to get this natural sun all right so let's go ahead and get to the next thing okay all right all right, y'all. So we are on the number fourth thing that's on my girl, on your girl list, on my list of seven reasons why I decided to seek a therapist. That's it. That's all. Just seven reasons why your girl decided to seek a therapist. And so the number fourth thing that's on my list, y'all, is to break stereotypes. To break stereotypes. Now, for a long time, I've been knowing I've been needing to go seek some kind of help. I've been knowing I needed some kind of professional help. I've been knowing that my faith was gone a little bit. I stopped believing and I stopped showing gratitude for the things God <clears throat> blessed me with. Um, I was so depressed about the past and so much anxiety about the future. You feel what I'm saying? And I know, I know I was supposed to go get help. But like I said in the beginning of this video, in my culture, that's not a thing. That's top. That's taboo to us. You barely see, especially black women seeking professional help. And I have been doing a lot of research on this. A lot of research on uh, PMAD, PMAD, if I'm saying it right, PMS, you know, all that stuff dealing with black women black mothers and depression and anxiety i mean i have been doing my research i have notes on top of notes i'm gonna do videos on it but a lot of women after they have children they somehow sometimes a percentage of them fall into some type of depression some type of anxiety and it's not too much of we don't seek help we don't seek help and so like i said my children are 23 18 and 13 and i know for the last 13 14 years i have been suffering from from some sort of d depression don't know why i don't know i don't know me and my uh therapist is still trying to figure this out i don't know if i don't want to say it's a uh, you know anything that had to do with childhood because my kids are older but i never got help for it 
You get what I'm saying? So much stuff happened to me in my third pregnancy from his father leaving me to him having so many medical problems, from me having him six weeks early, from me being a single mom, from just so much happened in his pregnancy and after his pregnancy, I felt like I was all alone. I felt like I was all alone. Did I seek help? No. No, I didn't. I was strong. I, I, I let everybody in, think that I had it and, and, and look where it got me. So I'm trying to break stereotypes, especially for my mothers. But I could talk more for my black mothers because I am black. Seek some help. And if not for you, for them babies. If anything, take care of them childhood traumas and neglect. Because like I said, you grow up toxic. You grow up in a toxic relationship. And then somehow we connect and we gravitate towards someone else that's toxic right that didn't get help in their childhood so now we're in love right i'm toxic they toxic we toxic then we decide to have a baby now we got this toxic baby because we brought this baby in this toxic relationship they don't deserve that they don't let's break these stereotypes if you know you know you know you know you know there's something wrong seek some help seek some help what, what, what else i mean i you you already stressing you already depressed i mean what else can happen from seeking help professional help professional help all right break them stereotypes we do need it the world owes us us mothers us, they owe us trust me we we put the world on our shoulders we mothers we girlfriends we uber drivers we uh chefs we uh braiders we're uh we're everything man i ain't even gonna get into it we put the world on our shoulders and sometimes we need a little help and it's okay to get it so break it because i'm breaking these stereotypes that's why i'm making this video i seek some help and it help and it's helping all right so that's the fourth thing all right about to go on into to the fifth to the sixth and to the seventh and then i'm done the wind's picking up this california wind this weather is crazy so let me hurry all right Right, y'all so we are on the 15 and i kind of need to hurry up because the sun's going down yeah um so the fifth reason why i decided to seek professional help um yeah give them the money give my hour one time once a week every monday at 11 o'clock i'm on zoom with my therapist faithfully all right so the fifth reason why i decided to seek therapy and like i said on the fourth reason i kind of put the fourth and the fifth kind of together at the end of the fourth and i shouldn't have but i did because you know i'm getting so emotional this i'm i'm passionate about my my, my, my art right <laughs> all right so the fifth thing is the world owe me they owe me the world literally owes me and that's it it's not really too much i can say about that it's just something that i came up with and i'm sticking to it the world owes me I done pushed out three productive children that's going to be productive in this world. Raise them to be productive, well respected. I raise some good children. I do my thing as a woman, as a black woman, so the world owes me, and that's why. That's my fifth reason why I sub seek a little bit of help. Got me a little bit of therapist. All right? That was the fifth reason. I'm not going to talk too much about that because it is what it is. That's it. That's all. If you knew better, you do better. All right? The world owed me, and, and I ain't even going to say period because it's more to that. All right? So, yeah. The world owed me. That's why I seek professional help. All right? All right, you guys. So, we are on a number 16, and my, my daughter needs to get to work, so I need to try to hurry up. Um, yeah, so the number 16, you guys... That, um, that is on my list of why I decided to seek a therapist. Because that's something I can control. That's one thing that I realized. I'd be so stressed over stuff that I can't control that I don't want to be worried about the stuff that I can control. Three things that a person can control every day. Their mind, their body, and their soul. Me seeking therapy is feeding my soul. It's feeding my soul. So I'm controlling it. That's why I went to go see a therapist. That's the number six reason why. Because I'm trying to feed my soul. I'm trying to control something that I can control, and that's my soul. So that's the number six reason why your girl decided to see a therapist. All right, number six.
All right, y'all. So we are on the seventh thing, and thank God I didn't get too many chickens and roosters and birds and bats and all of that today in my video. I think I get a little traffic from the freeway, but that's it. That's it. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. So the number seven thing that's on my list, and I need to hurry up before my daughter comes back out here talking about I'm going to make her late for work. So the number seven thing is why I decided to see a therapist, and it's just common sense for me. Um, I just need to maintain healthy relationships. The people that I have in my life, I love. I don't want to sabotage any more relationships. I don't want to push anybody else away. I'm actually putting in application for friends right now. So if you need a friend in California in the Bay Area, I'm pushing 40. I got three kids, but I am a joy to be with. I'm a Scorpio, and I'm just playing. But yeah, that's the seventh thing that I'm just trying to have, just trying to maintain healthy relationships. I'm tired of sabotaging relationships and people and pushing people away. And yeah, that's over with. That's done and over with. All right. So that's the number seven thing. Thank you guys for sticking with me so long for the rest of this video. Um, I'm going to keep putting out more videos. I'm starting to be more consistent. I think I'm going to have my boyfriend on here on the next video. Really not trying to make this no couple channel. So yeah, right, right. So like I say on every video, y'all, y'all be you because can't nobody else be you. You look better. It looks better. It smells better, man. And put it on it. I'm telling you, it feels better. All right. Know better so you can do better. And be careful. Like I say, safes get broken into you. And we ain't got time to get broken into. All right?